After unpacking, you first have to install the hardware. Attach the antenna to the camera back end. After that, you can connect the power connector. Now you can see the yellow power light. The camera will now make her calibration movement. Wait until it ends. It is now time to connect the camera with the LAN cable directly to the router. The flashing green lights show that there is a working connection. Now open the Insta camera tool on your computer. After you press the search button, the camera will appear. Now change to the IP configuration section. Choose your camera again. Now you will have to log in. The standard login is user admin password insta or empty. On the right you can see the network config options. DHCP should not be chosen. Instead choose a fixed IP address compatible with your network. For example for TCOM router 1992.168.2.150. The last number should be high enough. Subnet 255.255.255.0. Gateway and DNS is the router IP, in this case 192.168.2.1. The port is usually 80. Now go back to the search section and double click on your camera. The web UI will show up in a browser. To connect with Wi Fi, choose Network, then Wi Fi. Activate the Wi Fi and search for networks. Now choose your network and fill in the network key. It is important to choose the correct encryption, otherwise it won't work. Now press test. If this works, the camera is now accessible via Wi-Fi. You need to restart the camera by choosing Software and Restart. Now the camera is ready for usage. Depending on your Wi-Fi or internet connection, it can be necessary to adjust the video configuration. Choose Multimedia and then Video. Here you can change the video settings. If you have interruptions in your video display, you may choose lower quality, bandwidth, frame rate or keyframes.